Yo, Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel, brought to you by Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast. Uh, this is a Stylin Online G.I. Joe loot box that went up for sale on, I believe it was March the 16th. Uh, we went out of town to Louisville on March the 17th, which is the day that it arrived. So I have I just got in the door uh, from our trip. I haven't had a chance to do anything else, but I wanted to unbox this because it sold out, I believe, the day that it went up for sale. Uh, I have not messed with one of these loot box type things in a while. I think I reviewed maybe one. It might have been a wrestling one. I'm not sure here on the channel. Uh, but this was a G.I. Joe one. I love G.I. Joe stuff, even if it's not figures. Like, I love hats and garbage cans and all kinds of other stuff. So I wanted to order this, check it out, see what's inside. And I'll tell you, a big part of the appeal to me was the classic Real American Hero packaging. Uh, if this had had some kind of funky new G.I. Joe graphic design on it, I would have been less likely to invest in it. But that artwork is phenomenal. What else have we got? Oh, the same way all around. Uh, what was cool about this, it was a buy it now with Amazon Prime, even though it was on Stylin Online's website. And I'll tell you, I, I don't know much about Stylin Online at all, but uh, it was on their website. There was no size selection, so I knew there wasn't going to be a t-shirt in here, and I don't need any t-shirts, so that was a good thing. Uh, but this was shipped in a box. A lot of times, now granted you can see it's still kind of jacked up, uh, but a lot of times these loot crates are shipped uh, just this is what they ship, and they're really mangled when they get here. This this arrived in pretty nice shape. It's a decent box, uh, some corrugated cardboard. Graphics look good, but we're not really that concerned about the box. We're concerned about what's inside. So let's find out. Uh, no idea. I don't know what I'm getting into here. I have no idea. Whoa. Ooh, I can already see a couple of interesting items. Ooh. Uh, so the first thing, honestly, slightly disheartening, gigantic blocks of foam. It's hard to get enthusiastic about gigantic blocks of foam that are clearly just taking up space in the box because what was in there was not sufficient to fill the box up. Uh, but we'll get our giant blocks of foam out of the way and figure out what's in here that might actually be worth the $55 uh, with free shipping, I don't know if that's because I'm a Prime member or if that's just how they do it. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, again, beautiful graphics uh, from G.I. Joe number one. This is, <laughs> it is literally just a little canvas print. <laughs> okay, we're, we're starting off uh, cheap right out of the box. But that's okay, because that's what these things are. Look, I, I went into this knowing I was going to get a box full of junk. Uh, I, it's just that usually these are boxes full of junk that do uh, total up to more than what you paid for them. But it's it's a bunch of stuff you never would have actually bought in the store. Um so it really is more just about the unboxing. So, I mean, look, this is cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it is odd how the design wraps around the sides. It's like a mirror pattern rather than just being a continuation. But still, I'll, I'll hang this up on the wall. It's neat. Quality's pretty good. Uh, printing looks really nice on it. Not a bad little item to have. I'll take it. And they managed to square up the image nicely uh, as well. Not quite even up here on the top, but I mean, still, uh, a lot of times comic book covers are hard to get a square image out of, and I think they did a nice job with this one. Looks pretty good. I, I like it. Not anything I would have just, well, I don't know. You know what? Honestly, if I was in Hobby Lobby and they had this for, you know, five bucks or less, I probably would have bought this because G.I. Joe stuff is cool. All right. Let's keep going. I know we're all curious about this, but next up is a G.I. Joe multi... Oh! Oh, okay. This this I actually kind of love. Uh, I don't love the fact that the G.I. Joe is upside down like that. I feel like that should be the other way. But this is one of those pens. I love these pens. When I was a kid, 
the classic blue and white version of this pen was like an, an item of prestige. Like if you had one of those, you were, you know, kind of on the made list. Those were very cool pens. So to have a G.I. Joe version of that pen, that's actually two flavors of nostalgia wrapped into one right there. Now I know, I know this is a thing, like the flipping logo or whatever on a pen. Honestly, I could do without this. Just cut this off and have a cool G.I. Matter of fact, I, I might cut that off myself and just have a cool G.I. Joe multicolor pen. Uh, you know what? I got to open it up. Yes, yes, the card art is great. Maybe I don't need to open it up. Maybe I don't really need... This might be more of a display piece uh, than something I use. I'm going to set that to the side for right now. As much as I'd love to test it out for you guys... Uh, this, this may stay the way it is as, as a novelty item. Uh, all right, we're going to continue. Oh, wow. This is a thick, this is like a journal, isn't it? This is totally a journal. Oh my gosh. All right, let's keep going. We'll get back to the journal. This is probably a coffee mug. I don't drink coffee at home, so this is almost useless to me. And then it is... The least interesting G.I. Joe mug they could have possibly produced. No graphics, no cool image, not even the snake eyes that's on the box, just G.I. Joe. And don't get me wrong, that's cool. It's one of the greatest logos of all time, and I love it dearly. But throw some graphics on that thing. Come on. Give me a cool action. Throw the uh, 1987 image on this. Do something cooler than just G.I. Joe mug. Uh... Cool, cool mug. I mean, okay mug. Cool, I got, I, I, I used cool too many times there. It's an okay mug. And now, what do we have? Is this a collector's plate or something? It wouldn't surprise me a bit. Okay. Is, is this just like a piece of glass art? What do we got here? Oh boy. Nobody's got time for glass art. Oh boy. <laughs> what is this even? Okay, now I will say this design, uh, this looks killer. Hopefully that smudge, oh yeah, smudge came right off. This looks pretty killer. Um, it is, oh, the, why am I holding it the wrong way? Of course. Uh, so it's got a hanger on the back and it will hang like so. This is actually pretty awesome. Uh, the image looks great. It is nice quality. I dig it. Obviously, this is from Silent Interlude, uh, from the cover. Uh, it looks good. I like this. Again, don't, well, probably would have bought it at Hobby Lobby. Any, again, anything G.I. Joe, I'm like, oh, I need to have that. Okay. So that, that is everything. Wow. So the expected, well, let's open up our, our dream journal, our GI Joe dream journal. Cause that's exactly what this is. It does not have a separate pin, which would have been such a small thing to throw in there. Like just give me a standard pen with a GI Joe logo on it. Can, can you give me that at least? But no, we've got our little rotating pen. Oh, that's pretty nice. Nice interior graphics. And then it is straight up just a dream journal, which I will use to record my dreams of finally completing my vintage G.I. Joe collection. Oh, no, I'll use it for something. Uh, it's got a little ribbon in there to keep your place. Uh, on the back, you've got the G.I. Joe logo, the front. And again, the, all the graphics on this stuff are pretty crisp and clear. Uh, so, we have got our dream journal, our circular piece of glass, a G.I. Joe multicolor pen, and finally, our little square piece of art. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all of this into close enough. So we have, yeah, really? Wow. Oh, and our mug. I forgot the mug. Forgot the mug. Sorry. Okay. So there's the mug. So we have one, two, three, four, five items. 
I am going to play a little prices right here. Right now, on the spot, I'm going to assign a dollar value to each of these items. Uh, and then I will come back in a second. I'll look them up online. And, and I'm sure these exact items will not be available, but I'll look up uh, online. I'll try to find their equivalents. I'm trying to find this placing uh, for these where I don't get the glare. There we go. I think that's a winner. Okay. So I'm going to guess a dollar amount. Uh, for each item, and then I'm going to go online and try to find equivalent items, which will probably be Hobby Lobby, because this is all junk you would find in Hobby Lobby. Uh, and we'll see how close I am to the actual price of the items. Uh, yeah, well, well, let's let's find out. So this, this is pretty, it's got a thick cover. It's got your little pin clasp here. It's got your ribbon. Uh, I am going to guess... $7.99. You know what? I better write these down so I actually remember what I'm saying here. Let's let's make use of our foam br uh, block. So $7.99 uh, for our journal. Uh, our coffee mug. I have no idea how much coffee mugs cost. Surely... Surely a coffee mug is not more than $8.99. So $8.99. Uh, our little square piece of art, like I said, this is like five bucks, but I'll I'll be uh I'll be kind and I'll say $5.99. Uh, our pen, I'm actually going to give that a higher value because it's the multicolor pen. It's got the spinny thing on top. I'm going to go, I'm going to go a little crazy on this one. I am going to say that our pen is $11.99. And then finally, our circular piece of glass art, um... And I would just like to note my handwriting is much better uh, when I'm writing with a Sharpie on styrofoam than it is in any other occasion in life. Uh, circular art. Uh, I cannot see that being more than $12.99. Whoop. Okay. So those are my guesses. Will I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go online and try and look up similar items and I'll come back and let you guys know what the real prices were. All right, I'm back and I've got some numbers. First of all, I actually added up uh, the total that I came up with on my guesses and that is $47.95 of, va of value if I'm being generous uh, with all of these. So, uh, first up, I, and I, let me just tell you guys, I had a lot of trouble Googling, searching any of this without an actual trip to Hobby Lobby, which I feel like you would be able to find equivalents of all of these things without a problem. Uh, is everybody else's Google and Amazon searching just completely broken to the point where you cannot find anything? Uh, it seems pretty ridiculous. So anyway, our journal here... I could not find a decent equivalent for the journal. There are tons and tons and tons of journals out there. Uh, the closest thing that I was able to find was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, and one thing about the journal that I missed, uh, there is a pocket in the back for, I don't know what, but there is. Uh, there's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles journal that is a little bit nicer than this one, but pretty close. So my guess was $7.99. That Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles journal was $11.99. Uh, our mug, I guessed $8.99. I went online, uh, and the closest thing I could find was just kind of a big selection of sort of generic uh, pop culture mugs. And the price on all of those was $8.99. So, moving on, our square art. Now, as I said, you know you go into Hobby Lobby and you see tons of stuff like this. 
I couldn't find anything even close to it online. Uh, my guess was five ninety nine. I'm going to have to go with question mark. I really have no idea of the value of this, but I cannot imagine it's more than $6. So we're just going to stick with $5.99. Uh, the pen, I couldn't find anything quite like this, but Claire's Boutique had a similar pen. The base construction uh, was pretty much the same, and then it had a couple of cute little characters on top. And that pen, my guess for this one was eleven ninety nine. The proper price was seven ninety nine, and honestly, the Claire's pen was a little nicer than this pen. Uh, but, so we're gonna go with seven ninety nine on that. And then finally, our circular art again. Google, Amazon, uh, Hobby Lobby. I could not find anything like this uh, until. I realized, well, wait, I figured out a value for all of the other items. So in order to add up to $50, the pricing on this piece of glass has to be $20.04. So <laughs> I certainly would not pay that uh, for this item. Now, if it was on one of Hobby Lobby's many, many 50% off wall art sales, for sure I'd pay $10 bucks for, or $10.02 for that. Uh, so... And end result here is this is stuff that you cannot get anywhere outside of the style and online box. So that has to be figured into the value, but how much value that has to you personally is going to be different from how much value it has to me. I will tell you this. If I had known that this was what came in the box, I would not have bought the box. This box wasn't even really all that fun to open because there are no little figures or tchotchkes or even keychains or anything like you'll usually find in like wrestling loot crates or other kinds of boxes. This is, while I, these products are, this is cool. I'm going to hang this stuff up. I'll use this for audible interlude, like note taking, actually this might be handy because I'm not good at taking notes digitally in the way that they need to be taken for audible interlude. Um, you know, this is cool. This is fine. I'm happy with owning this stuff. I don't believe I would have paid more than $30 total for all of it. So this is categorically the worst loot box I've ever gotten because I've never gotten one where I just felt like, man, I'm not excited to have anything in here. It's all neat. It's all G.I. Joe. And that in and of itself makes it cool, but it's all just kind of like meh. And I hate describing anything as meh, but there it is. Uh, thank you for watching, you guys. I hope this answers your questions about the sold-out G.I. Joe style and online style box or whatever it's called. Uh, you know, if you see this stuff and you're like, oh, that's awesome, I'd really like to have it, then whenever it comes back in stock, which supposedly it will, order yourself one. But if you were wondering, uh, my personal recommendation is is you don't need any of this junk. Uh it was, it was definitely not worth 55 bucks. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things, and uh, come back each and every week for new, uh, not just toy reviews, uh, anything at all. Oh, and I've got some great Louisville toy hunt stuff coming up soon as well, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, you guys. And as always, yo, Joe! Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.